Hello everybody, my name is Alex Pandrea and welcome to this free course in coin magic here on my channel. Now I love coin magic, but I feel like a lot of people are not learning the basics correctly. So I've taken my favorite coin slides and broken them up into four categories in four different videos. And we're gonna go over each section in a different video this week. We're gonna learn palms, vanishes, reappearances, and switches. Now these slides are the essential building blocks in coin magic, so you're gonna need to learn these first before going into coin effects, coin tricks, and learning other things. So go ahead, grab your coins, and let's get started. All right, here we go. The first thing that we're going to learn is palming a coin. And this is the first thing that you should learn when learning coin magic. Grab a coin, palm it, as in hide it somewhere between your fingers in your hand so that when you wanna make a coin appear, you could start off by showing your hands relatively empty first and then making that coin appear. Or it's useful when we vanish a coin to then put it into a palm so your hands feel empty. Now just as a reminder, every day this week we are doing a new section here on this channel. So go ahead, grab your coin, we're gonna learn some palms and then come back tomorrow and learn the rest and then the next day some more stuff and then the day after that, other things. It's gonna be good, let's go. So the first thing that we wanna talk about is the type of coin that we're gonna use for these palming techniques. So the two coin sizes that I use are both a quarter size coin and a half dollar size coin. Now a quarter size here in America is obviously just a quarter size, but in Europe you can use a Euro coin or in the UK I believe the one, one pound coin is a little bit smaller than this and thicker and the two pound one is, is uh, larger in size. So both of those sort of will work as well as this kind of size. Or you can go ahead and grab a half dollar and you can find these online This is a barber half dollar I believe and it's nice because it has this vintage feel this is from the year 1900 so that gives it a nice vibe and you could put a good story to that while doing your coin magic or while introducing this coin now for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna use the half dollar size just because you can see it better. And it is easier to actually do some of these palms with a bigger coin as opposed to a smaller coin. So we're gonna leave this off to the side, but just keep in mind that I think you should practice with the quarter, all of these, because it's gonna make everything larger than this a lot easier. And also when you do borrow coins, chances are they will be around this size. So you're gonna to wanna to learn to do it with the quarter size. All right, the first palm that we're gonna go into is the finger palm. And the finger palm just looks like this. You are palming the coin with your fingers. There's nothing much to it. And all of these palms we can do with both left hand and right hand, depending on the situation that you're in and the effect that you're doing. So you're gonna wanna learn them with both hands, okay? So even though I teach it maybe with just one hand, go ahead, place the coin in the other hand and learn it there as well. So with the finger palm, you're placing it in this position between the two bends of the finger. So the finger can bend on top over here and can bend at the knuckle right in the middle. So you're gonna wanna place it just on top like that on the middle finger and the ring finger, okay? And then you're gonna just curl in like that and hold it just like that. All right, and that's really it. That's all you have to learn to have how to hold it. You don't wanna curl your hand too much and you don't want it to expose like that so it falls. You just want it enough so that you're gripping it and then you can turn your hand over and do the displays and it's nice because you can talk like this and your natural action of the hand when it doesn't have an item is not like this, right? Your natural action of positioning of the hand is like this. So it's only natural that you have the coin over there and keep your fingers curled and it doesn't look suspicious to anybody, okay? So that is the finger palm. All right, the next palm to learn is the classic palm. And the classic palm looks like this, where you could have your hand free and open and like this and more open than you can with a finger, uh, finger palm, but you are classic palming the coin in a classic position, I guess you could say here, with the base of the thumb and right on the palm right here, okay? So that is your positioning. And this is nice because you could be, like I said, more free with the hand. So how does this work? Well, you go ahead, grab your coin and you're going to place it just in the middle right here and the positioning is going to be depending on when you start to squeeze your thumb base and this part of your hand so you're going to start to squeeze like this 
you're gonna see where the skin lines up. So for me, and it might be different for everybody, so for me, it's about there and more towards the thumb side, all right? And that is going to be the positioning right there of where the coin needs to be. Now, the first thing that you're gonna wanna practice is placing the coin there, keeping it firm with the first finger, and then squeezing your hand to try to grab it. Now, at first, it's gonna be very hard to grab it. You're not gonna be able to, and you're not gonna be able to turn around your hand because that coin will fall. But with time, you're gonna learn the positioning. So if you're gonna grab it like this, and then you say, okay, that's not right, maybe move it a little bit further down. And you see, this is not right for me, because I I can't grab it with the base of the thumb. It's just not happening. So I wanna move it a little bit and adjust it a little bit until you find that perfect position so that when you squeeze, all right, squeeze your thumb, you are holding it perfectly between this skin part right here and the rest of your, I guess, pinky. If the pinky were to come down all the way here, that skin right there is where you have the first the left side of the coin palms, and then the right side is the skin of the thumb, and then you can turn your hand over and palm the coin. Now, the most important thing that I wanna to talk to you about the classic palm is that when you do it, you're gonna to want to not have your finger out like this. This is a dead giveaway that the coin is being palmed or there is something in your hand or something suspicious is going on. Yes, because nobody holds your hand like this. So you wanna be a little bit more relaxed, uh, and that's going to take a lot of practice to get this thumb instead of like this to like this, all right? And one tip that I have is to touch your thumb to your other fingers, which will ultimately get your thumb a little bit straighter when doing this, okay? So there is the coin, there it is right here, and you're gonna palm it. Now the way to get into this is grabbing the coin, just like that at fingertips. You're going to turn your hand over so that it is palm down, and the, the right fingertips on the middle finger and the ring finger are going to push it up into the palm. Now it's at this point that your thumb is going to go like that, okay? And it's only natural, but you're gonna wanna try to get rid of that by holding your thumb towards your first finger, palm the coin, push it in, let go, have it palmed, and then be natural with the hand, okay? So my suggestion is that you wanna go around, take two coins, palm them in both hands, just like that, and walk around the whole day with the coins palmed like that, okay? So you're gonna do your things, text, eat, drive, maybe not drive, that might be dangerous, but do all the things that you would naturally do with your hands in the natural position uh, with a coin in your hand, and that is going to help a lot. The thumb palm is exactly what it sounds like. You are palming a coin with your thumb like this, and that is the main part of it. And this is a nice palm because you can be possibly more open than you are with the classic palm. The classic palm, you need to close your hand a little bit more. You don't have that much freedom with these fingers to be out unless you really start practicing and get it so that you can palm and be very open with your hand. But in the beginning, it's gonna be like this with the classic palm, okay? Trust me, so if you wanna be a little bit more open, this is the thumb palm, and all you're doing with this is just holding the coin and clipping it with the thumb. So just go ahead, place it right about there, clip it with the thumb, and now it's going to be in between here, so you just wanna to try to be a little bit more natural and not too constrained with the thumb here. Just a natural like grip like that, and then you have the thumb palm, so it's just there, and you have the show right there, and you have learned to thumb palm the coin, bam. So the next coin palm looks like this. We are talking about the T. Nelson Downs palm. And in this palm, you are hiding it in a position so that when you have something else in your hand, you could be very, very nice and open with the hand, concealing it. You could see inside, you could see from the back, and it doesn't look like anything is there, but lo and behold, of course, we have hidden a coin in the hand because obviously that's what this video is about. And this was invented by a magician named T. Nelson Downs and it's one of the most popular palms that you can do. So take your coin, place it into a horizontal position so that it is parallel with the floor, and you are gonna place it in the crotch of the thumb right here, just like that. So you're gonna squeeze with the thumb and squeeze with the first finger so that it is about there. 
perfect. So now from this angle, if you just close your two fingers like that, you can hide the coin. It's even better if you have another coin uh, to hold or something else to hold, a pen or a wand or something. But that is basically it. Now you can place this, you can play around with placing this in different positions. So it doesn't need to be so high, it could be a little bit lower and grab it with the middle finger just like that and hide hide it as well with the first finger. But basically that is the idea of the downs palm that you are here and then you can go ahead and either produce it or do other things from there. So there you have it. The next palm is a very nice one. It is called the finger clip palm because we are finger clipping the coin in between the fingers. So with this palm, it's nice because again, it uses the natural action of the hand to palm the coin. So when you're naturally just with the hand, you'll notice that these two fingers actually stay together because of the weight and the gravity. So you're gonna use that to your advantage. Place the coin on the middle finger. The middle finger is just a little bit bent and the first finger is a little bit straighter. Um, and that you're gonna get this. Now you don't want it to stick out too much or be too loose that it drops. You just want to find that perfect point right there. And that is going to be the finger clip palm. So you can actually do the same thing where you have a coin and this is a natural action of the hand. So instead of uh, potentially flashing with the downs palm here, it's a little bit further towards the fingertips and you have the finger clip. Very easy to do palm, yes? All right, let's talk about the back clip. This one is very, very cool because you are hiding the coin, basically like a back palm of a card, but you're hiding it with by clipping the coin in between your pinky and your ring finger of whichever hand you want. So it looks like that. You could have your hands open just like this and then have the card, or rather the coin, in this position right there. So I'm gonna show you the position exposed. It's going to be clipped between the pinky, like I said, and the ring finger. And you're gonna want to clip it in such a way so it's not straight down like this, but it's at an angle so that it kind of rests on the other fingers like that as much as possible. All right, so that's the position. And you notice that happens if you try to place it straight and you let go, it's going to come to the side of the fingers. So you wanna help that out a little bit and move your pinky a little bit further onto your ring finger so that it is hidden from here, okay? Because if it's just like that, there's no way to hide in between right there and that's gonna be very obvious. So you want to kick it out and then get your your pinky a little bit behind, or rather your ring finger on top of the pinky a little bit to hide that, keep your other fingers closed, and then you can just play around with the angles of this, of how to do it so that it's not seen, to how to keep your fingers a little bit open maybe, uh, so that it's not flashing, etc. And that is the last palm, which is the back clip palm, boom. Awesome guys, so now we know how to palm a coin. Come back tomorrow where we're gonna learn how to take a coin and make it disappear, the most popular thing probably that you can do with a coin. If you learned something in this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, it would really mean a lot to me. Subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.